Welcome back guys. This is Dr. Apura Popat again and in this video we'll be talking about US MLE step 3 examinations. Now uh, you are only eligible for US MLE step 3 examinations uh, once you give your step 1, step 2 and then you become ECFMG certified and then you can go to the FSMB site and you can also google step 3 FSMB and then you can register for US MLE step 3 examination. So that's your eligibility period. Uh, that's your eligibility for US MLE step 3 exam. So if you just divide US MLE step 3 exam, it's basically divided into two days. Uh, so it consists of day one and it consists of day two. Day one is foundation of independent practice. So it will give you a feel of step one and step two examination. Um, I would say it will just give you more feel of step one kind of examination. So you'll see basic questions like even they can ask like what's the mechanism of action of this drug. Um, like for example, if they want to ask you about vancomycin, they'll ask you, go, okay, this drug acts on which of the following things. So it's probably cell wall. So it's just very, very basic foundation, which will just uh, give you a feel of step one and step two uh, exam. So that's foundation of independent practice and day two consists of advanced clinical medicine, um, which is kind of more advanced clinical medicine. Uh, so step three, uh, the day two of the step three expects like, should you treat the patient now or maybe should you refer this patient to a specialist? A spe a specialist? Um, so that's kind of advanced clinical medicine. So one question which I frequently uh, got asked is when you should take your step three examination and I would say usually people give your give the step three examination, especially if they are IMG, if they want H one B visa. So you can only get H one B visas if you if you give your step three examination because then only then you can get your state license. So if you want H one B visa, it's it's um it's important to give your step three examination before the match results. So especially end of the February, it's it, it's uh, good to have your results uh, by the end of the February if you want H one B visas. Uh, if if they are uh, already a citizens or green card holder and they do not have uh, problems with the, if they don't have any preference for the visas, they can also give it in, in the intern years of the residency. So you can give your exam by the first year of a residency. Um, that's the step three examination. So if you just break down the days into two days, so day one and day two, as I said, the day one is foundations of the independent practice. It consists of uh, total seven hours of exams where you have 45 minutes of break and five minutes of optional tutorial and uh, the blocks consist of 38 to 40 questions and the length of the each block is one hour so day one is seven hour long exam which consists of uh, six blocks which are consisting of one hour each and then you have the breaks uh, which are divided like this. You can skip the tutorials for the five minutes. It's just similar to day one, like step one and step two. And if you just talk about what you'll find in day one of the exam, you'll find the basic uh, MCQ pattern questions. So entirely day one is MCQ pattern, uh, whatever you just um, give in step one and step two. So all of them will be MCQs. Apart from that, you'll have questions from biostats, which you will not have in day two examinations. So you'll have biostatistic questions, you'll have drug ads, you'll have abstracts and uh, you'll have sequential questions like for example if you make a diagnosis of aortic dissections in the next question they'll ask you okay what's your next step in management so those are sequential questions which you'll find in both day one and day two but biostatistics is exclusively for day one it's not in day two whereas in day two um, it's a nine hour long exam so if you just combine day one and day two it's a total uh, usmle step three examination is 16 hours long exam that's a huge one you know the only advice uh, uh I, I give uh, to people if if they want to appear for step three examination is just give step three examination as soon as possible because you you, you might have already studied well for step one and step two so you just uh, rapidly uh, you know finish off uh, U world uh, once and you can just take your date and give off the step three examination so the day two of the exam is nine hours long it consists of both MCQ as well as CCS. Uh, cases okay they are the computer based clinical scenarios uh, you have six blocks of mcqs 45 minutes uh, 45 minutes each um, and then you have 30 mcqs per block okay and here also you may have, you might have uh, 12 minutes of break to 12 minutes of uh, what do you call uh, 
the sorry it's 12 minutes of tutorials consisting of both mcqs and ccsks along with that you might have 45 minutes of break i would say do not worry about the break timings because you'll have enough of timing left for the ccs cases as uh, you might end your ccs cases in two scenarios either you do the case right and the ccs case would case would end or either you might you do so, do something wrong with the patient and some uh, you know, miss something, misfortune or unfortunate happens with the patient or the patient dies, then the cases might end. So even with the 20 minutes long case or with the 10 minutes long case, I would say the case would end in five, six minutes if you just put the correct diagnosis and put the correct line of treatment in the CCS cases. And I would say the CCS cases are um, the scoring part of the step three examination because of CCS cases, I found they are like pretty much state forward and you just need to put a main drug and uh, main main diagnosis and like act accordingly uh, to just manage the patient. They, they expect you to put many uh, like basic orders, like you should give you IV fluids or just secure the airway first. Um, so that's expected in CCS um, cases. So you, you you have total 13 minutes of CCS cases out of that six, uh, around six or so will be of 10 minutes long, uh, seven or so, maybe seven, might be seven will be 10 minutes long and six will be 20 minutes long cases. Uh, but I would say, again, do not worry about the break timings because you'll have enough of timing left for the day two. No doubt day two is nine hours long exam, but most of the, most of them would finish the exams in uh, just seven hours or so you'll have enough of timing uh, left in the day two that's pretty much about um, step three examination there are other miscellaneous information which i get asked often is how much gap you should keep between your day one and day two um so i would i would say i just kept kept the gap of three days so you can keep gap of any way um between three to five days or maybe seven days and in these days uh, you can only practice ccs cases uh, from uworld or ccscases.com and uh, then you'll be good to go for examinations um, the second question which i asked uh, get asked often is like do you need to review step one content um, for step step three examination i would say uh, i didn't read step one first aid but most of the people uh, find it that if you just go through the pharma part of the first aid that might be beneficial for you for the uh, exams but uh, you know the the questions are asked in such a way that you will be able to recall and fetch the contents from the step one you don't need to you know just uh, read the first aid as you like did it for step one so uh so it's not like mandatory to just read the first aid um uh, especially step one before uh, giving a step three uh, examination apart from that when you while you are registering for step three examination you might uh, you might be uh, you will be asked for notary and some people have done the notary when the physical uh, they go to the advocate and for do the physical notary but the quicker way and the cheapest way is to do online notary uh, it will just cost you 25 dollars so that was like quick way for registering for step three examination and keep in mind this might take five to seven days um, for registration so you just keep your timeline uh, accordingly and if you are you're appearing if you're planning to appear for step three examination near the match cycle or when the match cycle is ending or near uh, you know uh, the end of the year like december jan there'll be a lot of rush uh, while booking the step three examination because most of them want to give the step three examination especially imgs if they want the visas so please uh be a um book your dates in advance and uh, because you might not get uh you you might not get the um desired location and step three is uh, like always conducted in the united states uh so it's it might be possible that if you are in illinois state uh you might not get the location in illinois you might have to fly to or maybe drive to indiana or wisconsin for your step three examination um I think that's pretty much about step three examinations. And if you still have any other questions, uh, please feel to feel, feel free to drop. And if you're just asking about the resources, uh, what you should read for your step three examination, I would say I just did like one pass of you world. That's more than uh, more than enough for step three examination. You don't, don't need to go uh, over the other stuff. And for the CCS cases, uh, you can do the CCS cases from the you world. Uh, you can also do the CCS cases from CCS cases. Um, ccscases.com um i really like the interface of ccscases.com because it gives you a feedback of what you're doing wrong and what you're doing right and they they put a lot of emphasis on preventive cares which i did not get a feel that a real deal uh it gives importance on uh 
preventive cares as much as CCS cases was giving. Like, for example, CCS cases are like constantly poked uh, for, you know, HPV vaccines or maybe influenza or pneumococcal vaccines or varicella vaccines, uh, like uh, beyond the particular age, which I did not get in real uh, real cases because um, that's a, that's a difference. But I really like the interface of ccscases.com uh, because it gives a feedback and you 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 improve uh, with the cases. I practice around like hundred cases or so, and maybe I did around ten cases of uh, U World, and then I just gave my exam and I got like a score of two forty seven. So I think this these resources are more than enough um, for a step three examinations. Just do the U World, some CCS cases from. Um, UWorld and some CCS uh, cases.com. Apart from that, Biostats, um, Biostats is also heavily tested on day one, um, especially the drug ads and the abstract. So initially it took a lot of time for me while I was solving the abstracts because they are like three sequence um, questions. So initially it chewed up my like entire 10 minutes while I was trying to decode what they were asking. And even after like spending my 10 minutes, I wasn't sure that I did I do, even like pick the correct option. So I would recommend um, that you just tick mark those three cases and spare them in the end. Okay. You can just come back to that abstract, just tick off that question and move to the next one and do solve that question in the end so that, um, you know, it will save your time uh, because it chewed up my lot of time. So you can do the abstracts and drug ads, um, uh, at the at the last of solving everything perfect uh, that's that's pretty much about step three and uh, let me know if you if you need any other information about step three examination and i'll be happy to help you and we are um right now in process of uh, putting more content for usmle step three examination we uh, have already uh, enough of content for step one examination you can uh, go to the play store and search usmle strike without the spaces and download the app usmle strike and for the app store um, you can search my institute app and enter you so for the app store you can search my institute in the app store and uh, you can enter the code KFKVQ and then you'll enter into the USMLE strike and there you'll find uh, contents for step one and step two and we are expanding the contents for step three as well. Well, thank you so much for watching this. I wish you all the best for your examination. Thank you.